All right, let's um, go check out those other stories. Let's go with the ocean now. This story is a, or this story is about a child who went to sail the ocean. The ocean, the ocean. What is that? I gotta gotta get back into the voices. Sorry. <laughs> It's a large body of water, I think. A body? Is it a person, then? No, it's like a tub, except much larger. Here, there's a picture. Look! There are stars in the sky and water! That is a lot of water. Anyway, here's a child on the boat. The boat traveled for a long, long time through stormy waters and calm, sunny seas. The child landed occasionally, staying only for a few days at a time on islands before taking off again. After a long journey, the boat approached end of the world. Beyond the advancing horizon, the water spilled out into the endless space. The young adventurer peered over the edge with great fear before their ship plunged over the edge of the planet and into the vast darkness. The boat heaved and rocked, carried on relentlessly by the water as it rushed through the heavens. The young seafar rode anxiously to avoid a stray debris, narrowly avoiding collision after collision. Finally, the water slowed, and the adventurer gazed over the edge of, at the stars below. The boat sailed leisurely on the space river through the galaxy far beyond. The young adventurer admired the star-dotted heavens above and below with great satisfaction. This was home at last. The end. That sounds really wonderful. I would like to go to the stars. I would like that too. <laughs> the one with the mountain. This story is about a child who climbs a mountain. A mountain? It is like a vast stretch of land that reaches high into the sky. Here is a picture. Oh, I see. I don't think there are many of those around here. The child lived in a small village at the base of the mountain and often liked to stargaze at night. One day, the youth decided to go to the nearest moon and collect stars. They packed all the evening and set out in the morning to climb the mountain. The journey was fairly easy at first. The young adventurer climbed the foothills and began to follow the winding trails up the side of the mountain. By night, however, the path was becoming steep and at times the child feared falling over the edge. Swallowing fear, they looked to the stars and followed them until finally they reached the top. The child had never seen so far in their life, the vast land stretching far, far away until it was lost in the horizon. Above, the plump moon hung from the sky. Above, the plump moon hung from the sky, bright and inviting. Climbing a tree, the child jumped with all their might into the moon. The child was surprised, however, to find another child over there already there. The child's skin was ghastly white so that it was hard to see them against the moon's light. The ghostly child was reaching up into the sky and plucking stars and then arranging them in a bright garden that gave the moon its light. The young adventurer admired the bright, the bright garden and offered to help. The moon inhabitant accepted, happy to have a friend who appreciated and could share their work. Together, they continued to tend the moon garden for many years, content to wait for the next generation of celestial gardeners for the relief. The end. <gasps> A garden, huh? That sounds really cool. Aw, that's nice. Thank you for telling me stories, mister. Hello, tree. Thing. Pot. Alright, let's move on. Insert letter to Matt and Lily. Yeah. Chopped off letter. Cool. What's going on in here? It's locked. Oh, okay. So go down here then. Can't sleep. I keep wondering what's going to happen. It's been getting darker lately. 
the stars have been disappearing. I'm scared that when I wake up, they will be gone. Yeah, that is, that is a little scary. A painting, a painting of an egg who has experienced too much revolution for a single egg. I think I've come across that painting before. Found a quiet note. Somehow that was really sad. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so sad. Oh, okay. Let's go over here. I've already spoken to this person, right? I wonder what happens when robots are turned off. Is it just like sleep or death that's sort of temporary, you know? I have a lot of dreams about falling into water and drowning. What would robots even dream about? They can't even drown. Well, apparently they dream about stars, maybe? Found a heavy note. I think I swallowed a rock yesterday. I've had this sinking feeling inside of me since then. Huh. A painting of the scattered corpse of an egg. Oh, jeez. one doesn't look like an animal. How come cats can eat the same thing every day and lick their own asses and people think they're cute? Ah, but not people. <laughs> the way Gordon Ramsay handles those eggs you think he was raising his own kids. I'm only I've only shit my pants twice and that's an accomplishment I think. You're a strange person. The black book. Oh. Oh, it's the music. Hmm. A pinching of an egg with eyes. It stares through you. Found a yellow note. My honey's waiting for me out among the stars. Alright. Pietra. Claudia. Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm naming stars. There are so many that don't have names yet. How sad. I don't want them to be forgotten before they die. Does your star have a name? Let me ask. Do you have a name? A name? A word everyone can call you. You can call me the word. Star. Its name is Star. That's not unique at all. Let's give it another name. It will be special. Can I give you another name? What do I need that for? It will make you unique among all the other stars. You're pretty important. Oh! Why don't you choose a name? Me? Yes! I would like that. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, I can actually legit name the star. Um... Hmm... What should I name you? Ah, uh, I'll just... There, yeah, you'll just have a cute name. I, I could give you a rude name, but I actually don't really want to, because you're kind of cute. So we'll go with Spark. How about Spark? Or how about Spark? Yes, thank you! I like how that sounds. Tessie? Thomas the 16th? Hello again. I'm glad you named your star. Its name is special to both of you. The night skies have been getting darker. Stars have been dying out recently. Some of them don't even have names. How lonely it must be to die without a name. Tell about unique names, but it looks like that one... You, you've named one the same thing many times. There is a presidential note in the trash. The president's key can open any door on this satellite. Don't tell anyone that it's in the upper bookshelf, second from the left. <laughs> upper bookshelf, second to the left. You found a presidential key. Awesome. I am the president. President? Of what? Of this satellite. How did you become president? I own a key that can open any door. That sounds useful. 
How did you get it? It doesn't matter. I am an important president. You should bow to me. Hmm. I guess I should do what he says. What now? I- you- you are pardoned. Pardoned? From what? Death. Oh. Good. Good? Aren't you going to ask what I pardoned you for? You have told me I was pardoned from death. Yes, but you were condemned to death because you crossed this threshold. Be gone before I condemn you to death for crossing the threshold again. What a strange man. He is a president, though. President? It is like a king. Do you have a king? No. I do not have a king or a president. You have both? No, you only have one. It is a type of ruler. What do you measure a king or a president with? Hmm, justice, I suppose? This president has been very just to me so far. We should leave before I, con I am condemned again. Oh, I will leave soon. I pardoned you again. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> so silly. Uh, I love it. Okay. I've never met an egg that has told funny jokes. Found a black note. Are robots scared of dying? I wouldn't know. Never mind. I already heard all those stories. Now here. Die, die, die. The presidential key unlocked the door. Sweet. Found a dirt covered note. Matt, water the plants. <laughs> a note rests on top of a pile of papers. Really, really don't touch. I swear to God, if you get dirt on these charts, I will. The rest is illegible. User login. Matt. Today I woke up and freaked out about not feeling my left hand. It's not really a big deal, but when you're half awake and forget you're missing a forearm, it can really mess you up. Lily probably freaked more than me though when she, though she fell out of her chair and held me for like an hour straight and now I smell like Lily sweat. Gross. The other day I saw a star just beyond the rooftop. It was the weirdest thing. I can't remember the last time I've seen one up close. I walked just up to the edge and reached out, but it kind of floated away. I forgot to wish for a new hand. Power went out this morning while I was starting our new project, but thankfully nothing got damaged or lost or anything. We finally finished that nasty strip of strawberry and the Neapolitan ice cream that neither of us touched ever. I can't remember the last time we stargazed from the roof. I've actually missed it. Lily was surprisingly quiet though. She sort of broke in, in the joints on my new hand, squeezing so much, and her face was really concentrated. It was the same face she makes coming up with really complex algorithms, or programming AI, or even like trying to cook eggs. I asked her what she was thinking, and she told me that she hadn't realized how deep the sky was. I couldn't even think of what to say, and for some reason, I felt really sad. Okay, first, let me just say, I like strawberry ice cream. I don't like vanilla ice cream. So if I get Neapolitan, what is left behind is some nasty vanilla. I just don't like this stuff. Strawberry is good, especially if it has bits of strawberries in it. I found Lily, I found Lily asleep on the keyboard downstairs. She managed to type out 156 pages of with her forehead. I carried her all the way up the stairs to bed because I can't remember the last time she slept in it. It's scary. I wonder if she always looked this tired and if I've only n just noticed now. Though she keeps taking up the whole bed so I guess I'm gonna sleep on the floor tonight. Ugh. I can't believe I have to take care of this child. Reminder, tell mom and dad about new address.
It's been three whole star cycles since I've left my home station and lived with Matt. We've been able to make quite a bit of progress here, but gosh, I miss the botanical gardens there. There's a whole room for nocturnal plants that may or may not actually be the most ideal place in the universe for a nap. Plants are especially in good napping company. I found a star plant today. Of all places, it was growing in our drain pipe, probably from the little bit of stardust that had collected at the bottom. I hadn't considered it, but it was likely that the little bit of celestial precipitation we received has some minuscule amounts of stardust. I'm not sure it'll grow much more though, because it's much harder to find quantities larger than that. The power went out, so we decided to take a work break today. I sat on the edge. We sat on the edge of the roof and fed each other the last of the ice cream before it went bad. And honestly, I feel like a teenager again. I didn't realize how much my universe had shrunk until I was laying on my back and squeezing her hand, because I was terrified of falling upward forever. Maybe I should pursue a line of work that doesn't require looking at the ground so much. I've been working on the AI for the new project on and off. We actually decided to start with a standard AI and modify it to include more complex processes. I've been keeping in touch with a few more experienced colleagues and their input has saved us a lot of time. We've been experimenting with simulating human decision and it turns out the less rational, the more realistic. We've been talking about getting a new lab. There's a satellite, a stop down that has a few vacancies and we're going to look into it. It's possible we might have to get two places though. We may need more room for our upcoming project. Huh. Is that the only logs? Yeah. Oh shit. I just, I wanted to not choose anything. Okay. Speed through. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Found a reminder note. Fix fix prosthetic hand. Cool. A digital picture frame. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh! Uh, I think that's Matt fixing up our little bot's torso? Yeah. Cute. <gasps> oh! Hey! Aww. Oh, sleepy. Cute. Oh, sorry. Open box? Yes, open box. There are some documents inside. Matt's law book. Don't touch. Definitely touching. Better not touch. A few loose letters are falling out of it, though. Oh, I guess I should pick these up. Water stage note. Lily, engineering assistant, the spacey one. Extension 4777. Ask about prosthetics research. Get space mail. Fill the paper note. Matt, I got your space mail. Fortunately, the engineering lab computer went down for a bit, so I'm writing this out because I'm not sure when they'll be back up. I'd love to consult with you on updating a prosthetic design you're already using. We're about to finish our project here, so I'll be able to take a look within the month. Send me your notes in the meantime. I look forward to collect collaborating with you. Thanks, Lily. Uh, first draft letter. Dear Lily, I appreciate your help for the last month. This new design has really improved my mobility, and nothing's jammed or gotten stuck once, which is really cool. Someone from the lab mentioned to me that you are going to be working on an independent project next and we're looking for help and I'm actually very interested in you. <laughs> I know you're, I'm not as gifted of an engineer or programmer, but I'm pretty fast at hammering out prototypes and I think we work well together. Very well. If not, that's fine. I really enjoyed working with you. A lot. Please allow me to treat you for lunch next sun cycle. Week, week. Thanks, Matt. Man, those two are cute. I don't know if they're actually like that, but they're cute. Uh, put away notes. And we know these planner. Consult with Matt. Short, cute. Ha! I knew it. Okay. On prosthesis has. 
previous experience in robotic design, reply to space mail. Discuss new project with manager. Independent robotics research. Remember notes. Check all plans tonight. Report outcomes on nocturnal plans. Lunch with Matt. <laughs> it is underlined three times. Meeting with Matt for independent project. Discussing ideas, parameters, bring research. A few pages are missing. Matt coming over house. Clean up. Don't fall asleep again. Set alarm just in case. Matt's birthday. It's on her ID. Buy present. Plants plus maybe sweater. She wears the same thing all the time. Bake cookies. Independent project report. Invite Matt over to check everything. Impress her with real food. Botany Gardens. Invite Matt to see cacti. She's never seen one. Matt here. A line extends over a couple days. Oh, gosh. It's too hard. Adorable. <gasps> look at all the stars. When I look at all, th when I look at the stars, I will always think of you. <gasps> I'm flattered. Is there anything that makes you think of me? Hmm. There are many things, but I can't really think of one. I think, though, I will always remember what you've done for me. It was the most incredible thing anyone has ever done for me in all of my lifetimes. Being alone in that place was not awful, but I didn't know how dull it was. The sky had always seemed so dark, but now it is so bright with you. I think I will miss you. That is a funny thing to say. Ah, you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, look. That must be the star plant. Hi. A small pot. A small plant could be grown in here. Poor stardust? Yes. It seems more stardust may be needed. Oh. Where will we get more stardust? Hmm. Stars usually shed dust over time, especially at the end of their lives. Right. Let's go find more stars. And where am I going to do that? I guess I'll leave. Dun, dun, dun. It sounds like someone is downstairs. Okay, the doodles. But who's that? Oh, that's Matt. Okay. Oh, you got in. Heck, I thought we lost the spare key. We saw your letter in the mailbox. It was very cute. I like the drawings of us. <laughs> anyway. Lily will be done soon. Then we can install your last program. Last program? Uh, it's like... It's, um... Lily, what is it? Hmm? Oh, this program? It's a safety precaution. Uh, yeah, that. Safety precaution? Yeah, so you don't get hurt. <gasps> Whoa! Did you make that noise? Uh... <laughs> chill. I've been meaning to tune up your voice box anyway. It sounds like you've broke it in quite a bit. Why don't you sit down over there? I'll take a look and literally we get started. Alright, back in this place. You may be sad, but you are so, so important. The ground here has waited thousands of years for you. Aren't the stars beautiful? I guess you would know because you are one. Don't die. The sky will be so dark without you. It's pretty dark out here, but you're going to be so bright. I hope I can meet you again one day at your brightest. Life's tough, but you're tougher. Plants can get stepped on really easily. But you can grow through so many things tougher than you. It's okay to be scared. Everyone you meet is scared, if even only a little bit. You don't need to be very big to be very important. Okay, where's your stars, dude? Hello. Hello. Are these things yours? Mm, yes. Is it part of your job? I don't know. I think so. I put them there because I keep forgetting where I bury things. Bury things? What do you bury? I bury stardust. It's pretty important, mm, I think. 
See, stardust turns into plants, but it only works when you bury it. But I always forget where I bury it, so I've been marking them with reminders. What kind of reminders? Well, I can't be around to see all the plants bloom. So I write down what I like the little plants to see when they grow up. Also, so they kn I know not to step on them before they grow. That's pretty clever. Is it? Yeah. I gosh. I wonder if plants can read. Hmm. I wonder. If you want, you can try bearing stardust too. Here, take this. Obtain shovel. Oh, maybe I will. Thank you. Huh. I'm so suspicious of that thing. What? Give me my baby. What is this? Spark? 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 Spark baby? Don't forget proper maintenance, Matt. Spark? Don't forget I love you, Lily. Um... Um... <sighs> Spark? Okay. Did you put those reminders there? What reminders? Hmm. Oh, those back there? No, I didn't. Hmm. Well, they're very good. I hope some plants see them when they grow up. Uh, where, where's my star? Spark, where the f where are you going? Um. Everything's falling down, and I forgot my umbrella. Is is that not mine? Is that not my star? A couple of my plants withered the other day. Not that I'm pointing fingers in Matt's direction or anything, but it happens. It happens to all plants, in fact. Luckily, we can use them for compost. Nothing goes to waste, and the old plants help feed the new ones. Okay. Robots don't cry. They get all rusty and break, and then I had to fix them. But people cry. They get all rusty and break, and sometimes it's hard for them to fix themselves. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you how to fix yourself. Because one day, we won't be around to fix you anymore. Uh. S spark? Why? Why you have so much stardust? I found you. You have. It's strange. I thought I saw you earlier. Huh, that is pretty strange. Was it you? There are a lot of stars here that look like me. I think you could be mistaken. I have seen many stars by now, but I know you look different from them. I was scared because I thought you were running away. You can't know for sure. You're acting strange. Aren't you happy to see me? Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to come. I'm very tired. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. We can rest here for a little bit. Yes, I, I think I'll rest. For a very long time, actually. You'll have to go on ahead without me. Of course not. I'll stay with you. I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. You'll have to go back home. You can come home with me. I can't go there. Why not? It's too far. It may be far, but I can carry you. 
Also, I don't think you mean what you are saying. My head buzzes weirdly when you say things that you don't believe. I'm not lying, but... Still, I won't leave you. N no, no, no. I'm afraid I'm actually going to be the one leaving you soon. I don't understand what's going on. And there's stardust everywhere. Well, that's because I'm going to be stardust soon. <gasps> I've been shedding more and more dust, and soon there's going to be nothing left of me. Don't be mistaken. I'm re really, really grateful for everything you've done. But I don't want you to pity me. I'm sorry you even had to see me like this. No, I always am glad to see you. I don't know what pity feels like exactly yet, but if it means very heavy and tired, I'm feeling that right now. Ah... Uh, I think you're just sad. I'm so sorry. This was really hard for me to talk about, and now it's my fault. It's definitely not your fault. But I'm scared. Are you going to die? Please try to understand. When you look up at the sky, you may never see me again. That's terrible. I won't even look at the stars anymore. Oh no, 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 please don't think that. The sky isn't cold or void. Look at all the other stars. Someday, they will all die too. They are dying now. But at some point, they were all born from other stars. You will see me again. In other stars, and in plants, and in the back of your eyelids. And you will remember that everything was made from the stars. And I too will become another star, or a plant, or someone you love. Even if we are strangers, you should remember, I will always be out there. Promise me to keep moving. There are more growing plants and stars to befriend. I'll keep moving, but you won't leave me. Remember, I'll carry you home. I have a shovel, and I will write you a reminder in case you forget me. Acquired Stardust. Uh. Uh. Why? I d we just we were just friends, and I just named you, and you're cute. I was pretty sure stars lived like. Billions of years! I thought we were gonna be friends because I'm a robot, so I don't need to die. I thought we were gonna be friends for a long time! Do I. I don't think I can take this stardust with me. I can bury it here instead, though. Soon it will grow into another star plant. And then I might see it as a star in the sky. Ah, I still have some chalk left. I should write a reminder here, too, since I won't be around. Hmm. Uh, hmm. You may not remember me, but I think it's important to tell you. I have known you once as a friend, and I will watch the stars always because I look forward to seeing you again. Designed by Cloud Hime. Music by Ender Babby? Or Ender Bobby? Then there's the betas, Tiz Zodi, and Ender Babby. I've missed this a little. A little? What, not enough dirt here for you? Mm, it is one quip I have. Well, I mean, you could always fix that. Oh, true. 
That is a really good idea. We should do that. We sh could put dirt on all the roofs. Or is it roofs? <laughs> Dang, I can't believe how much I miss this place too. Hmm? Is it the heights? I do like that. I think I miss being in the same place with you every day. Matt, we are in the same place. No, it's different. Two labs on the same satellite isn't the same as sleeping on the same roof and floor every night. I miss listening to you talk to the goddamn plants at night when I'm trying to sleep. Plants are very good listeners, you know, Matt, and I think you can learn something from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. What does that mean? Why do you always gotta compare me to plants? If you listened, maybe you would know. I can't believe this. You're unbelievable. Let's go. We should boot the kid up. Ha <laughs> ha! You said kid! You said it first! Oh my god, I can't believe you did it. You're making casserole tonight. What? Um, when did that become a thing we were betting on? You've been doing it for months before. Why does it only count now for me? Also, I was just being ironic for heck's sake, Lily. Ha ha ha! No, uh, don't hug me. Don't even touch me. Do you even know how much dirt you touch every single day, Lily? Gross. How? How dare you? Go and try to cheer me up right at the end when I was so full of sad. That was really cute. And I'm also kind of sad and... <sighs> I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you for making that game, um, Cloud Hime. That was really cool. I really, really like that. And, um, if anyone who watches this, if you like the game too, you know, consider putting a nice word towards Cloud Hime and everyone else who helped out. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Um, that's all I have, so see you later. Bye!